Okay, so about 12 hours just went by and it's the next morning back in my shop here. And we're going to continue on. switch and cable. So I'm going to prepare the ends of this cable here. Fairly simple task. one of these uh, holes to uh, use on my cutter. Uh, it's a complete it's a complete guess. <laughs> Just looking at the wire and hoping I'll pick up one that's not too small. sunshine, the sun is hot, it's kind of weird to go out and the air is very cold, it's minus uh, 10 again today with minus 15 if you consider the effect of the wind. And that is pretty darn cold. Too small. And yet here it is late in March now part of March. I know there's lots of songbirds that birds have come back. They're out there singing. And I watch birds fly through the icy cold air. I always wonder, I've always wondered what keeps them warm. Feathers, Jim. <laughs> it's their feathers that keep them warm. You know, birds burn a lot of energy when they're flying. center post.
to strain relieve some of these wires, especially, you know, especially the one that comes out of the radio for auxiliary use. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that yet. Busy day ahead of me here. So I'm rushing just a little bit. I shouldn't rush.
interesting. I think when I'm uh, feeling like I'm rushing, I don't want to talk. Maybe that's a good thing. But I'm not actually rushing. Less about what I need to do down the road and more about what I'm doing right now. That might, that might be a good idea. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get that through. on here pretty good. Not really what I wanted though. get too much heat into this braid wire here, the shield wire, it'll melt the uh, center conductors, the center conductor insulation. I'll, I'll end up with a short. though. One or the other. Okay, so now what I gotta do is I gotta get the uh, satellite radio set up for a test on here. So that's what I'll do. Okay, so here's the uh, satellite radio, and I have it connected to my shop stereo. Let's just see what we hear. It's called Morning Mashup. I don't know who or where that's coming from. 
Sirius XM Channel 1 preview is what I'm actually listening to. So, Okay, let's just double check the wiring on this now. So we have a central wire traveling over to the uh, volume control. And the signal wire is coming in from here. And we have the signal wire coming from the radio. So grounded and connected. Okay, so I think we're ready to test the uh, test the radio. It's not plugged in to the Sirius 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 radio. Okay, quick safety check here. Volume down. Switch is on. Let's keep the eye on the lights. Appear to be in business here. I've mentioned this a few times on a few videos. When I'm flipping switches in here and making contacts with various things, often on the video there's loud pops and crackles and all kinds of stuff going on. But here in my shop, I don't hear any of that. I just hear the normal physical sounds of what's going on. But, uh, so you get an extra treat on video. So you probably heard a pretty good pop when I uh, hit the power switch there. Silence. Oh, that could be because the switch position. Let's think about this now. There, that's radio on. There's the radio. No hum, no problem. Okay, I switch it the other way. Turn it up. Full blast. Silence. Perfect, perfect. Thumbs up on that. Silence. Volume down. Let's get out my voltmeter here because I'm a nervous Nelly when it comes to this kind of stuff. I recommend everybody should be. Very nervous about plugging together old technology and new technology. So let me unplug it from my stereo. Okay, so that's out of the picture. suddenly show up. Yeah, it's not the radio. Who knows what it is. Okay, not the radio though. Now, what we're looking for here is some crazy voltage. 13 volts AC and 13 volts AC. Now, my radio is plugged into an isolation transformer, so this is a... If I, if I actually saw 120 volts there, I would probably fall off my chair. Um, that's really all we need to do. So the 13 volts is not 13 real volts, it's fake. Fake voltage. So I think we're ready now to test the radio. But what I will do I think I want to plug these together with them operating. In particular with this one operating. So I'll turn this guy off. And uh, I'm just a nervous Nelly. I'll check the radio again. down, plug it in. I mean this has been plugged in before. Uh, the first time they've been plugged together. Radio on. And volume up. You know, they start putting music on. I don't want music. Give me some talk. Well, you can really hear the effect of the speaker now. That doesn't happen. That's why billionaires say, give someone a billion dollars. 
So I just push on the cone slightly, reorients the voice coil. That's actually much better. I let go. There has to be some way to fix the speaker here in my shop. I can feel the bass coming through on my finger. Put this in the cabinet, it should sound pretty good. But not like that. Hey, music. Can't can't have music. Oh man, Taylor Swift. She's gonna come after me now. She's gonna want her money. <laughs> More music. Let's go back to channel one here. Now let's flip the switch. <laughs> wow. Okay. A little more volume coming out of the radio itself than out of this. <laughs> Don't flip that switch without turning the radio down. I'm usually pretty good at that. <laughs> so there we are. Perfect. So it's working exactly as I want it to. Lots of volume. Yeah, don't do that, Jimmy. You're going to get a copyright hit for crying out loud. Come on. Once again, I'm not knocking the copyright system in YouTube. It actually really solves a complex civil problem in the world, and that is people using other people's IP, intellectual property. So I'm 100% I'm there. Thumbs up for YouTube for coming up with a solution in the midst of all this crazy stuff going on on YouTube and the Internet. Okay, that's great. Next step is uh, mount the switch. And uh, what about that speaker? I'm hoping, I haven't checked the comments yet, but I'm hoping somebody knows a trick here because it can't take much to fix that. It's just a tiny, probably fraction of a millimeter that we're talking about here. Uh, where the voice coil goes into the permanent magnet on the speaker. And this happens a lot with speakers. A lot. So somebody's got to have a fix. Maybe I should go do a little research. Hey, that might, that might help. But not right now. I'm going to look at mounting the switch on the backboard. And I think to do this without doing something dumb... Um, Probably going to need to put the radio back in the cabinet, or uh, dumbness will win the day. So let's do that. <laughs> 